Hey, everybody, it's me, Vicki. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I wanted to do a small little rant today and talk about something that's on my mind. And I believe a lot of you parents out there will understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this. First of all, before I get into that, I just want to say that, yes, I'm free. My children have started school today. This is the first day of school back here in Pennsylvania, and I'm excited about that. So I'm free. Yes, 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 yes. So now I have some me time. So with that being said, not to get to my rant. So let me tell you guys. So I'm on Media Takeout today, and I'm, watch, I'm looking at an article there saying that people are mad at Beyonce because she put extensions in her daughter's hair. And automatically, when I saw that, I got pissed off. So I get on Facebook and I started typing on my status that, uh, you know, people get me sick. I'm sick of people always having something to say about it's her daughter. She could do whatever she wants with her daughter. Yeah, you know, blah, 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 blah. So for those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, you will see that I typed that on my status. So I just decided to make a video as well and talk about this. Now, the reason why it upsets me is because as a mother... I have had people, you know, uh, always having something to say regarding what it is that I'm doing with my children. And it's really frustrates the crap out of me, especially for those who are not parents who do not have children. You know, if you don't have any children, the best thing for you to do is to keep quiet. Don't say anything, because at the end of the day, I'm not going to take advice from somebody who does not have any knowledge of raising children. Now you don't, and this this is to me. It's not like it's not about even if you didn't have a child, like you didn't deliver a child, but you have raised a child from infant to adulthood. That makes you a parent to me because you have raised a child. Someone who has someone who has raised a child is different than someone who has never had any kind of dealings with children at all. But all they deal with is animals all day, like cats and dogs and fishes and cows and pigs. And they're telling you what to do. And they're trying to tell you, I've raised animals. So I'm like, animals and children have nothing to do with, it's a big difference. An animal is an animal, a child is a child, it's a human being. So don't tell me that you've raised cats and pigs and cows and goats, and you're gonna tell me how to raise my children. Are you kidding? me, I would rather take uh, advice from somebody who has raised children, Re whether or not they delivered that child or not. I would rather take advice from that person because I am, I could always use uh, uh, good advice on how to raise children. Now, uh, someone like me who have raised children and I have five and I have children that are adults. I have an adult. I have two teenage children and I have two minor children. So I'm pretty experienced and I know what I have to do when it comes to my children. So getting back to the Beyonce situation, I feel like this. The hairstyle that they're saying that she she put extensions on her daughter, Blue Ivy's hair. I'm looking at the hairstyle. I'm like, she has just calm braids going all the way down. That's not a weave. That's not extension. That's not, that's not, it's not a big freaking deal. I'm like, are you serious? I have put a perm in my daughter's hair. I have put a weave, a serious weave in my daughter's hair. I have done a couple of different things. So come on, seriously. At the end of the day, that's Beyonce's daughter. She could do whatever the heck she want with her kid. Shave her hair, put braids in it, extensions, whatever she wants. That's her child. That's nobody else's child. So everybody should just zip it up and keep your mouth shut and not have anything to say about that. It's no, none of your business at the end of the day. You know, and I, I just, I get really frustrated when people do that because I have had people say some things to me in that matter like uh, even here on youtube recently um i have a video the simply straight and i am you know blow drying i'm flat ironing my daughter's hair i'm using it you know i'm using my daughter's hair as a way to to see how the product worked and somebody commented on, my, on that video and said to me oh my god what kind of mother are you that's I'm, child, I'm calling children's services because that's child abuse because you're putting heat and damaging your daughter's hair and blah 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 and i was like you know what i said nothing absolutely nothing because i feel like you know what i do not one thing that i have learned dealing with social media is in the past, I wish I knew what I knew today. When I first started doing YouTube videos way back, that's about eight, nine years ago, I was very sensitive. And every time somebody said anything to me, I would ah, immediately make a video, uh, go off, just get upset. 
and and I would get upset and be mad and uh, start arguing with people, making videos back and forth, doing all this childish, ignorant behavior that I used to be. But I realize now that now I realize that number one, I'm too old for the nonsense. Number two, it's not worth fighting with people that you don't know. And number three, people have the right to say whatever that they want. You know, at the end of the day, but at the end of the day is how I handled it. And I handled it in a way where I just didn't deal with that person and I was done. So that's what I did. So at the end of the day, I do what I want when it comes to my children. I don't take advice from anyone at the end of the day because I'm very experienced with raising children because I have five and I have an adult. Like I said, I have a teenager. I have two teenagers and I have two minors. So obviously I'm doing something right. All my kids are very decent, respectful, loving kids. Okay. So I just wanted to say that, you know, I just hate when people have things to say and they don't have no knowledge whatsoever. I mean, my thing is this, I would love to take advice from people who have knowledge, who have raised decent human beings, not somebody who have never raised children. If you have, if you're raising animals and you try to tell me that you're experienced because you raise, you know, you're raising animals, that's not the same. Uh, a, a, a fish, a cat, a cow, a goat, Horses and dogs are not human beings. That's all I'm saying. You know, like I have dogs right now and uh, the way that I raise my dogs, I don't raise them like I would raise my children. I do discipline my dogs, but not the way that I would discipline my children. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So these people that are sick in their head think that they could give you advice because they, they, they don't have no knowledge of having children. They don't know nothing about it and have the nerve to tell you how to raise yours. That bothers me. So that's why I'm making this rant video because I just can't stand people like that. Some people don't have children because they have, it's, it's, you know, to each his own. I can understand that. You know, sometimes it's, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, if you have raised your little brothers and sisters or you have raised children or you're a foster parent out there or you, uh, you've you adopted a child, that's different because you know what it's like. You have, you are taking care of a child. You know, that's, that's, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Those kind of people, hey, I'll take advice from you because I mean, especially if I see your child is successful and becoming a doctor and doing good. Those are the people I want to take advice from. Like, what is it that you did? Yeah, I could, I could use some of that knowledge. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty experienced. It's not like I'm a new mother. I'm not a new, like, especially if I, when I was a new mother, when I first had my first child a long time when I was younger, I would, I could have used all the advice that, that I could. But anyway, guys, take care. God bless and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.